The University of Calgary Libraries and Cultural Resources presents Skills for Systematic Reviews. EndNote, Identifying and Removing Internal Duplicates. This video will show you how to identify and remove internal duplicates using EndNote. So at this stage, you should have already imported your first set of search results. So for me, as you can see, that's Medline over here. And what we're going to do is you select the group that you want to work with. So I selected a dash medline and then to identify duplicates. And it's important to remember this is the first of two steps. Um, we're going to do two different deduplication processes. So for the first process, we're going to select references and select find duplicates. And it's going to bring up a dialog box like this which just provides a comparison of the information available. However, we're not going to use this, so we're just going to hit cancel, and instead we're going to visually compare the duplicates ourselves um, within the library itself. So you should see that a duplicate references group has already been created um, with all of the duplicates that EndNote identified inside of it. And the way that EndNote identified these duplicates was using the preferences that we set in an earlier video. So it identified any references that shared both a year and a title. So now what we're going to do is you see that the duplicates are highlighted in this kind of darker gray color. Um, we're just going to hold down control and then click one of those. It's going to become unhighlighted. So we're going to keep holding control and click it again. And this just creates a visual difference between the duplicates, which makes it easier to visually compare. I only have six here, but a lot of the time you're going to have a lot more. And then the easiest way to compare is just to visually scan through the pages column. Because if the page numbers are different, then that's a good indicator that it might not actually be a duplicate and is just something that, that has the same title, but is actually two distinct references. So just quickly scrolling through here, we can see that they're the same page numbers. If we want to double check, we can also look at the author column and they look like the same authors. So we can safely say they are duplicates. So we're just going to select one of the highlighted records here and we're going to drag it into the duplicates folder that we created. And we've successfully identified duplicates using the first process. So we can just go ahead and remove this group by right clicking on duplicate references and click delete group. Are we sure? Yes. And so the second thing we're going to do is we're going to go back into the main group, a dash medline, and we're just going to visually compare all of the references to see if there's anything that EndNote missed. So to do this, we're going to sort by title. And then we're just going to scan through the title column and see if there's anything that shares the same title. And if it does, then we're going to compare using some of the other fields to see if they're duplicates. It's important to do the second step because, because it allows us to be more thorough. Okay, so it looks like there weren't any additional duplicates, but it's important to do this step just to make sure that EndNote didn't miss anything and to make sure to do this step very carefully. Um, for the purposes of the video, I kind of sped through it a little bit faster than I normally would have. So just make sure to go through carefully um, as you do this. And if you do find one that's a duplicate, just select it and then drag it over to the duplicates folder. So once you're sure that you've completed both steps thoroughly, then you can go into the duplicates folder here. And the last step is to remove them from your EndNote library. However, we're not just going to delete them. We're going to move them to that second duplicate library that we created earlier. And that's so that we have access to them in case we need to access them for whatever reason. Um, it's just better safe than sorry. So to do that, we're going to select all the records by clicking one and holding control A. You can right click and then scroll down to copy references to. And then you can either create a new library, choose library, 
or if you're like me and you've recently accessed your duplicate library, it should actually just show up as an option. So you can click that and it should have successfully copied. So we can just go over to double check to open recent systematic review duplicates. And indeed, the duplicate references have successfully been copied to this library. So what we're going to do is we're just going to quickly select all again and we're going to drag them into our Medline internal duplicates folder. Now they're nice and safe in case we need to access them for whatever reason. So then we can go back to our systematic review library and because we've successfully saved them, we can just remove them from this library completely. So you do that by selecting all and dragging to the trash, then right click on the trash and empty trash. Yes, we are sure. And you can see that the number in the Medline group has now changed to 421 unique results. Now would be a good time to go and update your workbook and just record that you identified and removed three internal duplicates from your Medline group set. This video was adapted with permission from basic training in systematic reviews and meta-analyses, managing results, from the Research Medical Library at the University of Texas MD Anderson Cancer Center and funded by the University of Calgary Teaching and Learning Grant. For more information about systematic reviews, please see the University of Calgary LibGuide.